Okay, this one's about cleaning the P-trap on a 90% furnace. Uh, of course, 90% is going to be vented like here with the uh, plastic pipe. If you have a uh, pressure switch code where you blink, the pressure switch is not closed. One of the things you can look at is the uh, condensate drain because these things drain condensate water out. Uh, because the water's warm, it tends to get a lot of algae and dirt and all sorts of other stuff in it, and it can pl plug the P trap. So, I'm going to give you a quickie on how to look at these things, and you can clean them with a shop vac and get the water and garbage out of them safely. Okay, what we're looking at here is that part right there. Now that's on a train furnace. Uh, there's a, a bunch of different ones. Uh, they look a little different for virtually every brand. But it's essentially a P-trap. Okay, this one is a P-trap on a carrier. Uh, probably about a 20-year-old carrier. So that's what a little bit different one looks like. Now, I'm not going to clean this one. I'm just going to tell you how it's done. Okay, this is your drain right here. That's going out of the furnace and going over to a drain. You get a couple of lines on top of that thing. And those are coming from the bottom of the uh, inducer and the bottom of the heat exchanger to pull the condensate off. Okay. You can pull this hose off right there and put your vac there. But I'm going to give you a caution on this. Before you do that, let's look at something else in the furnace. Okay, now this one has two pressure switches. And what I want you to do is remove all the hoses from the pressure switches. Uh, probably don't need to move these, both of these but take that off and then on the back there's two hoses on the back and they go into and you can't see it there but they go into the heat exchanger remove those hoses before you do this the problem here is if you put uh, quite a bit of uh, vacuum on that vacuum cleaner and you don't need to do much just take that hose off and just give it a quick suck and it'll pull it right out you could damage these pressure switches. So pull the hoses off of them first. Okay, now once you've got that, that hose off, you notice I've taken the hose off it there, and you've used your vacuum cleaner to clear it out, put your hoses back on your uh, pressure switches, and now we've got an empty P-trap. Sometimes the pressure switches won't make in these furnaces with an empty P-trap. So what do you do about that? You need to get water in the P-trap. Now you can pour it in through that uh, hole right there where the hose was on, but I have a little trick that I usually do. And for this trick, you're going to have to tie down the uh, door switch. Uh, right there is your door switch. You'll have to tie that down. I want you to turn that furnace on, and then you'll place your finger over this hole. Wait for the furnace to start. It'll run. You, you know, you'll have to wait until a burner comes on. Keep your finger over it while this is doing the whole thing. And when the furnace comes on, it's only going to take like two minutes. And it's going to get condensate that will come down and fill up that trap. I mean, you can do it by just putting, uh, you know, using a funnel or something, putting water in there. But that's a little trick that I used to do very commonly. So uh, that's one way to do it. Be sure there's water back in that trap before you're done. Once you're finished, double check all your fittings. Be sure your fittings are tight and all reinstalled. Of course your pressure switch hoses reinstalled. Fire it up and see if it works.